welcome to this whistle stop tour of how to create a tiny tap quiz game. Uh, hopefully in front of your screen you will see a simulation of my iPad screen. You can see I've installed a tiny tap so let's click on it and get going. First thing you need to do is to create a profile if you haven't already done so. Go down to the bottom icon where it says profile, click on it and because you're a grown up press the circle and the thing you want to click on is the join button and in front of you, some information you need to fill out. First name, I would just use uh, the first letter of your first name, last name, that's fine. School email address, please. Your password, probably the one you connect to the network. Make sure that you're a student. Put in your correct birthday because uh, that's important. And when you select the quiz and the age of the quiz, make sure it's suitable for people your age. Once you've done all that, press the join button and you're now connected to the community which will allow you to share your quiz with not just our class but others too. Right, I've already created a profile so let me just log in, bear with me, it's a bit of a long email address. And my password. And let's log in. Here we go. Welcome, Gideon. Excellent. So let's get started. And we get started by pressing the Create button like that. And we're taken to the first feature of TinyTap, which is called a Creation Pack. And this is where you can create layouts, uh, background colors. You can even drag in particular types of clip art images they've got. Now, I'm using space, so I want a dark background like that. Let me just show you what would happen if I wanted a particular image. Let's go to Tech. I can just simply click on it and it goes into my page. If I pinch it by putting my fingers either side of the image, I can make it smaller, bigger, I can also rotate it. Now, if you see the checkered dots, you really want to keep your pictures and images inside those. Otherwise, you won't probably be able to create a good quiz. Right, if I don't like the image, I simply click on it and I push it out and it spins away. What other features have I got? Well, I've got the AA, which allows me to draw a text box. I can change the style of my writing. I can also change the color. And if I click done, I can go and uh, using pinch, I can make it smaller, bigger. I can rotate it, but I'm going to put that in the trash. Uh, the smiley face, of course, takes us back to the creation packs and there's some really cool creation packs. Look at comic. Look at those features there. They are awesome. You might want to use those later on. Uh, what else have I got? I've got the magnifying glass, which is a great feature, and it basically allows me to search for images on the web. So if I typed in solar system, which I've got is the last one it's saved. If I press search, I've got a whole list of grown up whole list of images that I can use and I'm going to use one of them for my quiz. Finally, my camera. I could import a picture uh, that I've taken. Uh, I could import a picture that's stored in my camera roll or if I've got some cloud storage devices connected to TimeTap like Dropbox, I could drag one in from there, which is quite useful because I often will design an image and edit it outside of the iPad and bring it in to use. Now, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm actually going to use one of the pictures in the solar system. So click on search and we'll grown up again. And I'm going to use this one. So click on it and it should appear in here. Yeah, let's click off. Now I'm just going to drag this and make it smaller so it fits in. There we go. You can see it's the planets and the solar system plus the Earth's moon. I'm now ready to write my or to create my quiz. So I click on add activity and next. And let's see some of the features that I've got to make my quiz. I can ask a question, which is where I record a question. And I tap on the picture. Uh, create a soundboard is when I click on the sound, I click on the shape, it makes a sound. Don't really want that. Cut a shape puzzle. Which of these is not a planet? I press stop and now I'm asked to circle by drawing the correct answer, which of course is the moon. And I can do this quite roughly because it's a cool feature here when I let go of the box. And there's my first question. I could go on and add another question, but what I can correct, well done. That is, of course, the moon a natural satellite of the planet Earth. Now, do you see how in my answer, I gave a little bit more information, so it becomes more of a learning task. Uh, let's record the mistake, the wrong answer. Sorry, that's wrong. Try again. And there we go. I'm happy, let's press done. Add. Which of these planets is the hottest? Press stop, 
I'm now going to draw around Venus. So here we go like this. Tick, tick, because I'm happy with that. Let's correct. Well done. It's Venus, even though it's not the nearest planet to the sun. This is because of its carbon dioxide atmosphere. Press stop. Ooh, press stop. Let's record the mistake. Sorry, it's wrong. Try again. Now, when you are recording something, do try to speak with a little bit of intonation. Try not to speak in a monotone because it's very dull. Like that. So let's go to done. I am happy. The next step is adding in the game features. Click on the trophy. And we want to make it into a challenge mode, which is really exciting because you can do timers and leaderboards. Drag it over. And what options have we got? Well, activity. This basically is the time you get to answer each question. You get the time after the question is read out. So five seconds is too much. Let's change it to four. Uh, time limit for the game. You can set an overall time limit for the game if you want. Wrong answer limit. So these are the number of guesses you can have before you're thrown out. Well, I'm going to be a bit mean and change that to two. I'm happy with that. Uh, the other feature, uh, let's click on the background music. Now you won't be able to hear this unfortunately, but if I click on the play, you can listen to the different sounds that you want to have. I'm quite happy with game show, so I'm gonna click play and click done. Uh, if I click on the pencil icon, I can go back and edit my quiz. I could change it, delete it, add more questions and so on and so forth. But let's go on to publish. Click on the square with, or the little box with the arrow, and now we're ready to publish. We need to add a description for our game, so I'm just going to call mine Space Planet Challenge. And then we need to give it a name. Let's delete Game 8, that's a bit silly. So let's call it Space Quiz. It's not very uh, original. And then what do we do next? Well, we need to click off on Categorized and choose a suitable category. Science is good. Now, age. I always make mine 0 to 99, it's just the easiest option. It's already in English, and I'm ready to save the game. Press save game, oh, grown up. And if you're connected to the internet, it's now going to package it up. It's now going to create it and put it on the Tiny Tap site. Now you will get an email sent to you that looks like this. There it is. Uh, and you can send a link to that to other people. What you can also do, of course, is you can have a play of it yourself. So look, if I click on play, and again, you won't be able to hear it, which is a real shame, but here's the first question, it's read out. I'm gonna select that answer, and I'm right. Here's the second question, it's that answer, hooray. And then look, it tells me I've got two correct answers. How long did I take to do it, and what less time I take, the more points I score. And then finally, because we chose a leaderboard, 